national championship aspirations. But early on, we've already seen how quick this offense, this new offense for LSU, how they are they going to attack you. They bring in the run game. They bring in the run personnel grouping. And then what do you see? It's play action. Joe Burrow already hitting Chase in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. If you wanted to script an opening drive, that's the drive that you want to script. That's what we're talking about here at LSU now. Derek Stingley across the 35. Now he's got some room to run. He steps his way across the 40. And inside the 35-yard line for the freshman cornerback on punt return duty. Everything's coming up. Tiger is here in the first four and a half minutes. The new look offense, a six-play touchdown drive. And they've got great starting field position when we return to Death Valley on Saturday night. Look at number 10 in white, the bottom of your screen, Stephon Sullivan, former receiver, turned tight end. Burrow looks his way and checks down to a wide open Edwards Elair, who's inside the 20. Touchdown, LSU. Couple of first quarter quick strikes for the number six team in the country. You talk about the passing game is what they want to do, but you get inside that 10, that five-yard line, let's be, be honest with ourselves. LSU is a power-running football team. And Georgia Southern has a returner at quarterback as well, Shy Wirtz, running the triple option. They gain just a couple yards on their opening drive, and he's gang-tackled on the edge. The safeties, Jacoby Stevens, and for the first time, Grant Delpit getting in on the action. Top-ranked corner in the ESPN 300 in the class of 2019 and only the sixth true freshman to start on defense for LSU in the last 20 years. With good speed, he's shouldered into the ground right at midfield. Because when you look at how fast this offense is going, the officials will allow the defense to substitute. Fourth down, here they go, feeling confident and with good reason. First down for Leonard Fournette down to the 20-yard line. Burrow to the corner. Touchdown, LSU. It's Justin Jefferson. Joe Burrow's dad, who retired from coaching, longtime defensive coordinator in college, most recently at Ohio University, knowing it's his son's last collegiate season, said, no way am I missing this year. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Burrow, the, you mentioned the defensive coordinator. I've sat down with him numerous times to finally see his son throughout a football season. He's been coaching pretty much his whole entire career as a high school and college football player. But man, how excited for a dad to wear his son's jersey to go see him throw a touchdown pass in Death Valley. 171 total yards for LSU, one yard for the triple option attack of Georgia Southern. On first down, a pitch, and it's right to the sticks for Georgia Southern with Logan Wright. Three drives, three touchdowns, and just about a minute left here in the opening quarter. A couple of 10-win teams from a year ago. How about that tackle? from Damone Clark. Wurtz, he's stripped, loose ball. LSU's got it, picked up by the Tigers, Patrick, or Jacob, or Patrick Queen. The guy who created that fumble is a guy that everybody around here in Baton Rouge is so happy he came back for his senior season. Rashard Lawrence, number 90, coming off the edge, and it's all effort. It's all effort, especially when the quarterback is doing what? He's getting out of the pocket, but Rashard Lawrence coming through and watch the little tomahawk, gets the ball out. And one of those linebackers, I said by committee, it's scoop and try to score. Patrick McQueen, Innsminger last year did some things, but Joe Brady coming on as the passing game coordinator, totally different offense. Burrow's got time and he's got six. The one thing when you move fast, especially within this offense, it forces the defense to have to communicate. But I love the eye discipline of Joe Burrow. And Coach O 
that he's had since he's been at LSU. That's the reason why you're able to do what you can do on offense. Wirtz goes down to the backfield. Grant Delpit penetrates through to make the stop. Four-man rush by LSU. The inside handoff is not enough. Balls back to the original line of scrimmage and loose at the end of the play. And LSU has control. <laughs> LaRoche to the injury, 10 on the sideline. John Emery is in it running back for LSU. They fake the give to him, and the cross-field pass finds its way to the freshman rusher. Inside the 20 and out of bounds inside the 10. Electric to start. <laughs> A four-receiver look, the inside pass. It's an easy touchdown. It's another for Terrace Marshall. This is a straight check with me. This is the RPO. You look out there, you like your numbers. Marshall just come down and watch 20. Kendall Vildor, the corner. He's looking to communicate. There's, there's nobody there. And that's what this offense is all about for LSU. It's going fast, going fast. It forces the defense to have to communicate. But when it's going that fast and you're in Death Valley, it's going to be hard to hear right before the snap. With not only where the ball's going to go, but where his receivers are going to go. Here's about a 10-yard run. And Wirtz, the quarterback, their best player on offense is down. So here's the try for Bass from 47. Plenty of leg, and he gets Georgia Southern on the board. For Joe Burrow. He's got all sorts of time. And he just needed to find the window, and it closed quicker than expected. Incomplete on third and five. Good coverage from the safety, Kendrick Duncan. Zach Von Rosenberg, LSU's punter, wasn't sure if he was going to see the field. There was five drives, five touchdowns. He knocks that one inside the 20. Great kick there from the Louisiana native. The big emphasis in college football this year on taking away the blindside blocks. It's Tomlin at quarterback, the redshirt freshman. He throws across the middle. Nowhere to go. Jacoby Stevens is all over it. The junior safety sniffs it out. It sets up the bigger play later on. An ankle tackle is not enough to bring down Jefferson. To run the two-minute offense and get this on tape. Burrow takes a shot, and he's got Thaddeus Moss, the tight end, down to the 20-yard line. Burrow not pressured much today. He goes to the end zone. He's got another touchdown. Terrace Marshall finds Pater for the third time from the redshirt senior quarterback, 41-3. to Well, if you want to learn how to run the two-minute drill, LSU just showed you. It was clinic tape. Clinic tape of how to drive. They got the underneath passes. We talked about it earlier. It was the check down, check down, the big play to Moss, and then find your 6'4", 200-pound wide receiver in the middle of the end zone. Yeah, Joe Burrow, pump that fist. It's a new offense at LSU. So Shy Wirtz, according to Georgia Southern, is out for the rest of this game. And so we'll see Justin Tomlin at quarterback to sit him the rest of this game. The red shirt freshman Tomlin hands it off, and immediately it's Damone Clark into the backfield to say no more. Coach, 253 yards passing for Joe Burrow, five touchdowns, 42 points for that offense. How would you assess how they played? Precision, just like they've been practicing. Great job by Steve Ensming and Joe Brady. Outstanding job by offense. I'm proud of, but we have 60 minutes to go. A 60 minute football game here. As far as Joe is concerned, how long do you think you'll keep him in the second half? I think we can see Miles. I mean, Miles may start the second half. We're going to discuss it right now. It's Miles' turn. You may see him to start the second half. Thank you, Coach. Go Tigers. Works the starting quarterback, redshirt junior. Went down on a hit from Caleb on chase on. After the first half will be how the carries are divided beyond number one. Extra effort gets him to the 45. For a score to end the game or win the game, it's who's going to be able to pass protect. Burrow unleashes a spiral for Justin Jefferson. Oh. 
Hopefully he gets his opportunity at some point, maybe not this season. He goes across the middle and converts. Biggest push and the biggest improvement from spring to summer was Miles Brennan. They said, look, we know Joe Burrow is our guy. On Louisiana Tech. A stumbling run. It's into the end zone. Touchdown for Leonard Fournette and LSU. Check down throw. The freshman running back Tyreon Davis Price. Throw to run, and we've seen some open lanes with a quarterback that's been very efficient throughout this ball game. Cade York, good from 48 yards. That's something that Dave Miranda saw in his visits with the Green Bay Packers and said, you know what, I want a room like that. He had three touchdowns the other night on Thursday night. And, and then like the honorable mentions, you know, we, we don't know much about Kelly Bryant, the transfer from Clemson over to Missouri. At Texas, 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central on ABC against the Longhorns. That's a big game. Joe Burrow, 23 of 27, 278 yards and five touchdowns. Ed Ogeron now in his third full season improves to 26 and 9 as the head coach at LSU. Shaking hands with Chad Lunsford, the head coach at Georgia Southern. Let's go down to Coach O with Edward. Coach. You said walking into the stadium every time you feel like you're a part of this crowd. What yep. was it like to get a win and get a win like this tonight? It was awesome to see our team execute like this. We've been watching them and in practice they've been doing the same thing. Our coaches did a tremendous job. You know, what can I say about offense? Those, those on point today give Georgia Southern some credit. They're a well-coached football team. We have to work hard on them. We've been studying that option since February. Our defensive coaches did a phenomenal job. Yeah, with your defense, obviously triple option a little different, but how good was their discipline tonight? That's great. I discipline was exactly what the coaches wanted. They stayed in the gap. And the thing I'm most pleased with, we tackled well. You know, the first game, you worried about tackling. Our guys did a tremendous job of tackling. Congratulations, Coach. Go Tigers. Thank you, man. Almost 300 yards passing. You finally get to show off this offense we were talking about. What was it like to be in it tonight? Yeah, we, I think, you know, we felt like we were in the zone tonight. Uh, we had a couple couple miscues on some drives. We felt like we should have scored every drive. Uh, so we got some things to clean up just like every week one, but uh, I think it was a really good start. When you look at how this team played, I mean, some teams this week, slow starts. You guys were fast from the jump. What does that say about how far this team has come? Yeah, I think it shows our maturity. You know, we have, you know, just about everybody returning on offense and defense except some key guys last year and and a lot of seniors on, on the starting lineups. So I think that shows our maturity. Congratulations, man. Go celebrate. Appreciate it. Thanks. What a night for LSU. One of the shining stars out of the SEC as they close up a win 55-3 with Texas on deck next week. So for our entire production crew, led by Paul Irvin up here in the booth, Tim Swartz, Joe Sullivan, I'm Mike Cousins saying so long on behalf of Kirk Morrison, Edward Ashoff from Baton Rouge, we send you to SEC Now.